Hi, this is Joe from eWeb, and today we're going to show you a new product from Ofgim that allows you to convert your iPad into an oscilloscope. Let's check it out. Okay, we have downloaded the iMSO application from the App Store from Ofgim. It's a free download. Download it yourself, give it a try. When you don't have the hardware plugged in, it runs in a demo mode. So you can still play around with it without actually purchasing the product. But that's not what we're here to do. We actually have the hardware. So we plug it in. We uh, notice a blue LED power light that comes on. And now we're actually measuring signals in real time. For this demo, we have connected a 5 volts, 1 kilohertz um, signal, 5 volts peak to peak. And we have actually come in here and set up the channel 1, which is our analog channel, to measure that. And you can see you can come in here and configure different types of measurements you want to do on that signal. Um, go back to our peak to peak. So very easy to, to interface with these menus here. Um, there's four digital channels and one analog channel. We definitely like to see more analog channels, least two. Obviously, most oscilloscopes have four if you're in the higher end oscilloscopes. And for the digital channels, it'd be nice to see, say, eight or 16 even. Now, up in the top right, we have the triggering for this device. And you can stop the device and go ahead and do a single shot to get one, one measurement. And this is, of course, useful if you're trying to capture a particular event based on, a, on some type of triggering that you have set up, um, or if you want to stop, the, stop what you're doing and do a screen capture, or try to look at the digital signals in conjunction with the analog to determine, uh, say, a problem that you have. Uh, cursors are very easy to use, and the voltage and time are shown for each cursor on the bottom, along with the delta between them. Very, very easy to drag around. This, beats, this definitely beats having individual knobs to adjust, adjust these things. You have to wonder, well, is a touchscreen really nice for an oscilloscope? Based on playing with this, I'd say yes. It, uh, it definitely makes sense. Um, knobs have their place, and but having the ability to actually just click on these points and, and drag them around is is actually uh, a lot a lot better than I thought it would be. It actually makes a lot of sense to have that capability on a oscilloscope here. So I expect a lot of high-end manufacturers to be moving into this sort of touch interface. Um, the uh, application is easy to understand. We don't have anything that's, that's not clear here. You can, you can pinch zoom to increase or decrease the timestamp. Increase, increase the, the, time, the uh, time you're showing the signal over. Um, and actually, you can also double click to get into the menus and double click to go back to sort of a full screen mode. You actually, this is a pretty clean clean way to do it, and it is nice to maximize your screen real estate um, so you can get rid of distractions when you're working and get more, more uh, visualization of your web waveforms. So go ahead and stop that. Uh, the ability to take a screenshot, email your output, your email your waveforms to say a colleague, save off your your configuration settings. Um, very well done.
So in closing, great little oscilloscope here. The limitations are, of course, the hardware itself, not the software by any means, because the software is, is excellent. Limitation on the hardware is five megahertz on the, the analog signal for the, for the bandwidth and 12 mega samples per second for our sample rate and 240 points. So not a lot of memory depth and not very, um, very high end on the, on the bandwidth or sample rate. But if you're using this for educational purposes, say measuring an RC time constant, learning how oscilloscopes work with regards to digital and analog measurements, um, this is an excellent product for that purpose. So it definitely has its place and we are very excited to see this, this type of interface um, and we, we have loved to see it put on, again, four analog channels with say 16 uh, digital channels with high-end specs. Obviously that's going to increase the price of this a lot. The price of this is uh, currently around $300 and if you were to increase the channels and increase the, the bandwidth you'd be looking at uh, substantially increasing the cost of the product. So we can understand the reason to keep the some of these specs on the lower end and um, if the specs are sufficient for your needs, then this is a great product. Definitely um, is, is polished, definitely feels finished, definitely feels like I spent a lot of time thinking through the details on this. And I don't think you'll be disappointed as long as the specs are within your requirements. So this is EE Web reviewing the Oscium um, IMSO oscilloscope.